This video teaches you about the connector and authorized representative dashboard. First, a few notes about the differences between an authorized representative and connectors. An authorized representative is someone chosen to act on behalf of the resident for Connect Health coverage. This may be a family member or other trusted resident. Some authorized representatives may also have legal authority to act on the resident's behalf. A connector is a third-party person working for an approved organization who can assist a resident by completing actions on the Connect self-service portal. Agents or connectors working with residents should indicate they are that resident's agent or connector, not their authorized representatives. The Connector and Authorized Representative Dashboard helps you search for and find the cases of the residents you are associated to. From the dashboard, connectors and agency administration can also see the cases in their caseload that require urgent action. If an authorized representative tries to complete a benefits application for themselves from their non-citizen authorized representative dashboard, they receive a message instructing them to return to their personal dashboard to complete the action. At the top of the connector and authorized representative dashboard, you can access the message center to view announcements, messages, and notifications for the cases of the residents you are associated to. Please note, accessibility to notifications and to-dos depends on your role and the programs you are associated to. The Message Center displays the notices by notice type, name, case or application number, action due by date, and date generated. Please note, results can be filtered if desired. You can navigate to other dashboards if you have a resident role where you apply for your own benefits or another non-resident role, such as an authorized representative for a family member. You can also click Start Benefits Application to begin the process of completing an access request to be associated to a resident's case and completing a benefits application. At the top of the dashboard is your connector or authorized representative information, including your ID, organization, coverage area, number of associated resident cases, and your public or private status. Please note, organization, coverage area, and public versus private status may not be available for authorized representatives. Click View More to see more information such as contact information and organization information, if applicable. For connectors, under the Connector Information section is the Cases Requiring Action section. This section allows connectors and agency administration to view their most recent 100 cases that require urgent action. This section will not appear for authorized representatives. Select the RFI's Expiring tab to view details for cases with urgent actions that will occur within 30 days. Click the View Case Document Center button to navigate to the Given Cases Document Center. Select the Renewals tab to view details for SNAP and Medicaid and QHP cases, which are eligible for renewal within the next 30 days and for which a renewal has not yet been initiated. Click the View Case Dashboard button to navigate to the Given Cases Dashboard. Select the Pending Cases tab to view details for cases that have moved into a pending verification pending review, pending plan selection, or pending interview status within the last 30 days. Click the View Benefits Page button to navigate to the Given Cases Benefits page. Select the Unsubmitted Applications tab to view unsubmitted applications. Click the View Dashboard button to navigate to the Given Cases Dashboard. From any of the tabs in the Cases Requiring Action section, the connector or authorized representative can view the total number of cases in their caseload and can use the Export to Excel button to export the first 100 results on each tab to an Excel spreadsheet. In the middle of the connector and authorized representative dashboard is the resident case search feature to search for the cases of the residents you are associated to. For connectors who assist with both Medicaid and SNAP and CCAP applications, you may toggle between the two types of searches by choosing the appropriate program. Enter your resident's information into the search fields. Search fields are specified by individuals or household. Search results vary depending on if you search by individual, head of house, or by both. 
Connectors and authorized representatives can also just click search to display all the cases of the residents you are associated to. Connectors and authorized representatives also have the option to search by primary applicant only by clicking the search by primary applicant checkbox. Note, advanced search fields are available if needed. The search results display each resident's case status, submitted date, and last updated date. If the resident case search results show more than one case or application number, the most recent case or application appears first. Clicking on the resident's name takes you to that resident's dashboard. You can also export your residence to an Excel file by clicking Export to Excel. Lastly, at the bottom of the Connector and Authorized Representative dashboard is the I Want To section that displays hyperlinks for common connector and authorized representative's actions. Some examples include requesting access to a client's existing case or checking for potential eligibility on behalf of a resident.